Just for context, this is a great response by Sonia to a dog nut troll who posted the following statement. Because cats and dogs are better than human beings. The simple-minded thought that human life is somehow better than another life form is completely comical. <laughs> By this, we can deduce that you think your pets are better than you then. After all, your statement, because cats and dogs are better than human beings, and you are a member of H. Sapiens, I'm not sure if you realize just how full of self-loathing this statement is. One can both respect other living creatures' right to exist and to be treated humanely without engaging in humans suck and animals are better type of weirdness. Also, by that same metric, you'd value someone saving your pet's lives over yours, yes? But let me guess. This only applies to your dog and your cats, not the domestic animals raised for meat that you probably eat yourself and never give a second thought to. Or the wildlife that you possibly allow your dog to chase because, hey, my special puppers needs his enrichment time. Show me an example of a single species that does not prioritize its own well-being and that of its own kind over that of a different species, and I'll show you something that only exists in your imagination. Your dog would, given a choice, rather spend time with other dogs than you. Like most dogs, if it had the opportunity, it would run off. And then your neighbors would be reading about your lost dog post on Facebook or next door. Dogs show loyalty to whomever feeds them, and your dog did not choose to be with you voluntarily. You purchased it. Pet ownership can no doubt enhance one's life in certain but limited ways. But, as Kay Nunn says, you do not need a dog or any pet to live a full, enriched life. No dog, past or present, has contributed anything of value to our species. Everything you take for granted in your life was discovered, created, and built by your fellow humans, not dogs or cats. If there's any animal that is truly worthy of our respect and place in history for its involuntary contribution to humanity's progress, it would be the horse. The situation created by the lack of the know. It's